あのスーパーファミコンがフィッシュ。Now, I don't have all the、uh, plug in hookups that I need for the Super Famicom itself、uh, for, a, for an HDTV, but I just might even just demo what the Super Famicom Classic is about. So,、uh, to show you the difference of the、uh, Super Nintendo Classic versus the Super Famicom Classic,、um, I would have loved to at least gotten the,、uh, the PAL version of it as well, but right now, I gotta tell you, life is pretty complete as a, as a retro gamer as well, you know, because I love my Super Nintendo. I love you know, my NES.、Um, my sister has the、uh, Famicom Classic. Now, all I need is the NES Classic, and we've got all, and we've got all four together. So let's,、uh, let's do a small comparison, shall we? Okay, now of the small comparison, I've already、uh, picked out my uh, Super uh, Famicom controllers out. The Super Famicom controllers, of course, just like the SNES, is very different, just colored differently. And let us take a look. At how small this bad boy is. Now, of course, I've been playing this for about a week now. I've been playing this for about a week now. So, of course, this is not a typical unboxing. <laughs> Look how small it is. Literally just at the palm of your hands. It's really, really, really cool. Now, let us take a look at the comparison of the Super Famicom Classic and the original Super Famicom, shall we? There we go. Now, let us look at the original Super Famicom, shall we? Don't mind the noise outside. Just an 18 while we're passing by. Hang on. Let's see if I can get this all off. Of course, this、uh, has come used. But what's really cool about it though, this one even came with the,、uh, with the manual too. The original manual, of course. It's all written in Japanese. Here, let me zoom in real quick. Of course, it's all read,、uh, written in Japanese. Of course, it requires an AC cable as well. But let us take a look at it, shall we? Oh, yeah. It does it what you need, of course. Bring this out. Now, Unfortunately, this one manila it up a little bit. Just like in the Super Nintendo itself, it manila it up a little bit. Just like, a <laughs> just like the Super Nintendo itself does. But yeah. Matter of fact, this one, these、uh, Super Famicom controllers、uh, that came with it, though, I've actually bought my own original、uh, separately. I bought it loosely, as a matter of fact. I bought it loosely. Hang on, let me show you what I got. Of course, this one I,、uh, was customized for me though. I got it、uh, for what is it, Creative Box Gaming. But yeah, I have a loose version out here somewhere in my room. But yeah, let's take a look at this bad boy. Zoom out. What a comparison, right? Very, very, very big comparison. Yeah, a very, very, very big comparison. That's all I can really tell you. <laughs> Uh, I gotta tell you, man, just life is complete. I can tell you this right now life is complete. I love it. And、uh, don't mind my breakfast over there. I just finished eating.、Uh, it's like six in the morning right now whenever I made this. Plus, you know, after a night of drinking, you know, you just kind of wake up early and just you know, enjoy what you got. But yeah. The、uh, Super Famicom as opposed to the Super Famicom Classic. Oh, man. So, 
Why don't we give this baby a, a spin, shall we? Okay. Now, what you're looking at is the uh, operating screen, the uh, Linux operating screen of the uh, Super Famicom Classic, just like the uh, SNES Classic. Um, you've got all the games uh, narrowed out to, uh, let's see, Final Fantasy VI, Kirby Superstar, or as it's called on this one, uh, Superstar Deluxe, uh, Mega Man X, oh, excuse me, or Rockman X, F-Zero, Goemon, Contra 3, or just Contra, uh, let's see, Star Fox, and of course, the unreleased Star Fox 2, by the way, much, much more difficult. Pretty much all the uh, Famicom games in Japanese uh, are all more difficult than the American counterparts, too, so... This one ended up with a Super Street Fighter 2, as opposed to the uh, Super Nintendo, who got Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit more jealous, but at the same time, when you look at the popularity in J uh, Japan, as opposed to the uh, United States, um, Super Street Fighter 2 was much more popular than Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Of course, you got Donkey Kong Country, uh, Super Formation Soccer, Super Mario RPG. I'm currently playing through this all over again. Uh, Super Mario Kart, Yo uh, Super Mario World, you know, Yoshi's Island 2, Super Metroid, Seiken Densetsu 2, uh, let's see, Link to the Past, oh man, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Now, this one is actually, was actually a, what is it, a Tetris Attack here in the uh, United States. I forget what the name is called uh, in Japan though, but what else do we got? Fire Emblem. That's basically the uh, gist of it, though, you know? Uh, of course, I just finished up doing a, a playthrough of Final Fantasy VI, so we won't go back into that. Let's see what else we got. You know what? Let's take a look at Star Fox 2. Alrighty. Now, you can already tell the difference. One, it's in Japanese. But two, much more difficult. And see how well it plays. So we're gonna use who I'm good with. We're gonna use Peppy and Slippy. Oh yeah. And here comes the launch. Alrighty. And skip through all that. Who are we going to attack first? Let's go for the missiles first. Alrighty. Now, I can tell you this right now. The Super Famicom controller, I prefer though because the uh, controllers, as uh, soft as they are, I can tell you this right now, the uh, buttons are not concave. They're actually rounded. Now, I don't know what it is though, but but for some reason, I think the um, Super Famicom Control is a lot more com uh, comfortable than opposed to the Super Nintendo. Hang on, let's see how the charge shot goes. Now, the only thing I don't like about the Super Famicom controller is the Accord is much shorter. There we go. Let's switch. Here comes this missile. Here, let's see how well this plays. Damn it. Missed. Okay. He's down. We're gonna move this one. Take this guy out. So there's really not much of a difference. Um, not really much of a difference, really. Uh, I can tell you um, that the uh, difficulty settings is uh, definitely much higher. But, here, let's uh, switch games real quick, shall we? Hit the little reset button. And, of course, we get the uh, original Star Fox. Let's uh, see how F-Zero plays. There we go. We're going to choose Captain Falcon. Which is the uh, Knights League. Give it a try. Alrighty. Oh yeah. Man, I have not played this game in forever. Alrighty. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. 
Keep going, keep going. Not too bad. I do gotta admit, though, the uh, Super Famicom, if you uh, heard of the Satellaview, the Satellaview being the, uh, kind of like a uh, online service that they had in Japan, they actually had additional uh, uh, tracks as well. Additional racetracks, and um, not to mention, I really would have, I really would have loved. Uh, sorry, I can't talk right now. It's very early in the morning. I really would have loved to have the uh, Satellite View version of uh, what is it, uh, Legend of Zelda, the uh, Ancient Stone Tablets, which you can find online though. But it's never had a uh, official release though. An official release. Excuse me. Let's see. See if I can still win this bad boy. Come on, everybody. Come on, come on, come on. Uh oh. Casual Racer. Move through here. How many more laps do we have? Two more laps. Gonna recover. Gonna speed it up a little bit. Woo. I may just have to play through this again. Here come the speed. Alrighty, slow down. There we go. Final lap. Oh, sorry for the dead silence, kind of focusing. Here we go, here we go. Not too bad at all. I gotta say though, I really miss this game. I used to play this a lot when I was a kid. Uh oh. I'm gonna speed it up. Alrighty, here we go, here we go. Alrighty, first place. Not too bad. Still plays great. Let's see what else we got. Hmm. Give Super Metroid a try. Now, I've been playing through this for a little while. Let's see how well it plays. That's right, there's my save data. I'm in Norfair right now. <coughs> Excuse me. You have to pardon that, though. I've been drinking. Last night was Halloween. Went to a hell of a party, too. Alrighty. Still plays great. At least from what I remember. Uh oh! Get out of here. Oh, man. I used to play, I used to spend like hours on this when I was a kid. I used to spend tons and tons of hours on it. One thing I used to love about this game, though as I'm playing uh, games right now. It reminds me of how Resident Evil came to fruition. Beat it in a certain amount of time. Get a cool ranking. Hang on. What else do I have? Well, I mean, there's really not much to it. Let's see. Of course, you got second Nintendo 2. You know what? Super Mario RPG. I've been playing through this for a little bit too. <sighs> I think this was one of my first uh, playthroughs on this channel too. Of course. Very much in Japanese. Now, what I love about this is all the saved data is in columns. As you can tell, I've already gotten a, uh, a star. I just finished off the Rapids. Here we go, Tadpole Pond. Nothing available yet. And there's a Tadpole. <laughs> Mallow! <laughs> Am I the real Mario? Shall I demonstrate? 
<laughs> I like how the little tapples just pop out of nowhere. <laughs> what a show off. <laughs> Watch it, you fool! Poor frog fishes. The Lakuto over there just gonna um, keep him flying. In a way, it does look like a frog, Jesus. Hmm. Ha! <laughs> That's too low! <laughs> so, why don't you just form a little bridge for Mario? There we go. But you know what? How about we uh, demo a battle real quick? For anybody who's ever played it though, you already know what to expect. Okay, let's just demo a battle real quick. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Let's just demo a battle. Here we go. I believe that's uh, Mr. Kipper. Knock Knock Shell. And Thunderbolts. Yeah, not that much of a difference, really. But that is uh, the Japanese version of Super Mario RPG. What else do we got? Hmm. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, why not? A notoriously difficult game. Let's see. <laughs> Alrighty. I can double jump. I gotta tell you, I've never played the Japanese version of this game. Okay, okay. Let's see if I'm still good at this. I used to love this. I had an old friend named Anthony give me his cartridge. We spent all night trying to beat the first level one time. I was in fourth grade. <laughs> this out of the way. Alrighty. There's a dingo or a wolf. Uh oh. Ooh, the dagger. Hell yeah. Love the dagger. Ah, oh, damn it. Just whenever I love something, it's taken away. Hang on. I don't remember. There's a, uh, a green armor around here. See. Oh, the frame rate! <laughs> Hit when it slows down like that. Take him out. Freaking wolves. Damn it. There we go. Powered up too. Alrighty. And there's a dagger. Ah, I fucking missed it. <laughs> Story of my life. There we go. Not too bad at all. Alright, let's keep moving. Get out of here. The water. Oh crap.
Alrighty. Here it comes again. Oh, damn it. I'm dead. <laughs> Not much to it there. Ah, oh, Legend of Zelda. Link to the Pass. Can't say that I'm a Zelda freak, but I love Legend of Zelda. Yes, I named him Link. Now, like I said, I had been playing uh, for like a week now. Seven wise men. Sure, I'm pretty sure it's dangerous, but... Mm. Gonna need a lamp. Okay, the guards are out. Take a look at the map, shall we? Of course, it leads right to Hyrule Castle. Heavily guarded. Hang on. Let me check something real quick. Oh, well, there's not really much else to it, though. That's the uh, Super Famicom Classic. The Super Famicom Classic itself. Now, I, if I remember correctly, when I imported this, I paid about 169. That also included um, uh, paying for a, uh, an adapter separately. But I gotta tell you, this was worth it. Very much worth it. Uh, you know, being a collector, you know, I love Japanese uh, culture. I love you know Japanese video games as well. I mean, this was just worth it. If you ever get a chance to, go to PlayAsia.com and get this, because I can tell you, this was worth it. But, who knows? Uh, maybe a playthrough will come out of this as well. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Other than that, though, I mean, um, that's the uh, Super Famicom Classic. I wish I had a, a fancy uh, exit for this, though, so I'm just going to leave it on this. Much love, Bruce, and I will see you later.